And it wasn't only the salt yards that were busy preparing. Food has been flying off the shelves at grocery stores all across the region. Yeah, everyone is stocking up before the snow really starts coming down. And you know the popular items, mm -hmm. bread, milk, mm -hmm. eggs. Nicole Brewer <laughs> joins us now with more on the rush before the storm. Mm. It was crazy. That's what I heard. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Ooh. If you went shopping for the basics today, you probably came out wanting wine instead. I'll just put it out there. We were at the Acme in Ballakinwood, and I can tell you they were making bank today. Long lines, full carts, and lots of people talking about the storm. Ahead of every snowstorm, they're the first to fly off store shelves. Bread and milk, of course. Eggs, bread, milk, milk, bread, and eggs, yes. But why these three items? For one, they're the most common. It's something fancy you can put together. You think people just really like French toast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honey, but that's the main thing they come out for. Yeah, and I don't understand why. <laughs> Humans really rely a lot on scripts. Dustin Kidd is an associate professor of sociology at Temple University. You reach into kind of your cultural toolkit and you grab this script that says, oh, I go buy milk, bread, and eggs, and then everything will be okay. And this has been like this for years and years. This is when the markets make all their money. Some weather experts believe the blizzard of 1978 in New England may have led to our tendency to stock up pre-snow, since the those folks were stuck at home for weeks. From there, Kid says it made its way into society's stream of consciousness through mainstream media. It's mostly about reassuring you against that level of doubt, that sense of like something bad might happen. According to Kid, it also allows us to maintain some level of control. We don't know what Mother Nature's going to do. We don't know. Which is why many of us do what we can to prepare, then simply make the best of it. Sharing silly YouTube videos. They said snow! I gotta get the bread of that! To checking the French toast alert. And the, the level right now is severe. Is it? I never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> so these sort of are, are ways to kind of decompress some of that tension that's built up in these moments of uncertainty. So while everyone's rushing out to buy milk, eggs, and bread, what should we really be focusing on? As we mentioned, Pico recommends non-perishable foods, water, and a battery-powered flashlight. The Red Cross also recommends that you have blankets, extra cash, sanitation products at the ready. You can find the full list on our website, cbsphilly.com. Can't forget it's the grilled fun. cheese and tomato soup. That's true. Oh, you're going to need tomatoes for that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that the, the, the aisle with all the bread is always just wiped it's out. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm.